Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and in this one I want to talk about why I've pretty much stopped playing PUBG. Now when I say I've stopped playing a game it means that not necessarily I've stopped playing it completely but like I don't know it's kind of like I'm not it's never a game that's like oh you want to play PUBG oh you want to play PUBG oh you want to play PUBG it's not that anymore and like I don't care about leveling up I don't care about playing it like I might pop a couple rounds in but that's it. So I pretty much stopped playing PUBG um, because of a couple things, you know. First of all, I've played the game a lot, right? And I think that there is that game fatigue, which is good. It means that, like, I think if if you play a game so much that you get tired of it, like, that's a good thing. That means the game was good. You know, if it's a multiplayer game, it means you played it so much that, you know, you got what you wanted out of it. So... You know, I think that's a very good thing. But there's also another thing that since they released their second map on the Xbox, the desert map, I've kind of been not wanting to play it, which is it's very buggy, and now it's getting monetized like a mobile game, and I just don't like that. Right, that's kind of the two things. So I play it on console, okay, because my PC, to I don't think it can run it like good enough to where it's fun, right? So if you play Xbox PUBG, and you'll notice this, the frame rate is not consistent, like at all, which means that you're going to run into situations where the frames drop, so you have to like compensate for it and you end up dying. I had this situation before. I remember the game was running at 30, and I, I watched a clip back where I went, where I aimed and overcomped my aim on someone, right? And I noticed that if the game was running at 60 frames, I would have hit them with one more bullet than if I, if it, since it was running at 30, I didn't hit them, right? Kind of like my aim went here to here, and if it was running at 60, it would have gone in right there. So, you know, it, it's things like that that just frustrate me. Things like you have to press X sometimes two or three times to open a door. There are times where... I pushed X, I think there was a Thompson and three packs of ammo. My hand went out five times and I only grabbed the Thompson and one pack of ammo and I died because of it. I'm like, you know, it's frustrating to play a game like that where, not that it has bugs, but it's so inconsistent. Sometimes you pick up everything and it's fine. Sometimes you don't. And it, I, I really don't like playing the game that way. I, I think it's stupid. And that kind of really did it for me it was moments like that um and the other thing is just i mean obviously you know there's game fatigue but now they're monetizing it like it's a mobile game where you go in you buy like the battle pass to unlock stuff or you buy this this there's so much like trying to upsell you on different outfits and stuff that it's like i go on there it's like there's more menus to it feels like there's more menus to buy things than there is to play the freaking game so i really just i feel like PUBG was a good concept of a game, and now they're just monetizing the crap out of it, and it's not fun anymore. You know what? It was fun when it was like, oh, you go on Miramar, and the new gun comes out, right? Or there's like this new G36 on the snow map, right? There's new stuff getting added in, new gear, new balancing, right? They balanced the SMGs to be more effective on the console. That made it more fun. And... That was, like, the good days of PUBG. Now, I mean, the game's still fun. Don't get me wrong. The game is still fun. It's not like... Usually I have a good time when I play PUBG. But it it just is inconsistent. It's it, They try to sell you things on a broken game, right? And on the console, like, literally, on the console, it looks like a mobile game. And, well, the, the menus and selling you stuff. And when you play the game, it doesn't run at a consistent frame rate. They said 60 FPS. They never sold us a 60 FPS game. Because remember when the game first came out on Xbox? It sucked. So uh, that's kind of why I stopped playing PUBG. I would say the majority of it was game fatigue. But a good portion of it was consistency. I think if the game ran more consistent... I can, get, I can ignore the monetizing of stuff, right? But if the game ran more consistent and stopped dropping frames and stopped having bugs and actually worked properly, I think I would have enjoyed it for a good, 
good decent amount of time more. So let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. That's really it. Have you stopped playing games because of just bugginess? I have. Well, obviously, PUBG I have. But yeah, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. I'll see you next episode, stream or vlog, whatever I said to make.